I just got out of a session, a really powerful session with the client, and we talked about this one word and how to overcome it. This is something that can really drag us down and get us all if we allow it to be an issue in our life. And that one word is resistance. Now, resistance is never the problem when it comes to certain situations. It's the resistance of resistance is the problem, which is what I was telling my client. Now, the opposite of resistance is acceptance. These are in two different parts of the same spectrum. Resistance, I'm talking about as internal things. Emery's talking about it, the resistance of divine grace, resistance of resources and help. Resistance in a way where you've tried everything you can to accept it on your own, but you simply realize you do not have the ability to deal with to solve this resistance. Otherwise, there wouldn't be resistance. If you had the ability to accept your resistance, think about that for a moment. Would you even have resistance or would resistance even be an issue if you didn't resist the resistance itself? So you can accept certain things in your life that you can and then you cannot accept things you cannot accept. Does that make sense? You can accept things you can and you cannot accept things you cannot. You just some, sometimes fundamentally do not have the ability. And for those things that you fundamentally do not have the ability to accept, you must ask the divine presence for the ability to accept it because you don't simply fundamentally have the ability. Nobody gave it to you. Your parents didn't teach you because they didn't have it to teach. Your teachers didn't teach you because they didn't have it to give. Nobody in your ancestral lineage had the ability to accept whatever this is at this level and you can become the first in seven easy steps that I'm going to break down for you. So you must ask God to give me the ability to accept the resistance. But you first must recognize that you ha do not have the ability. So let me give you seven steps. And here are the seven steps of how to overcome from this to this using a magic key, the magic element. When I say magic, it's, it's divine grace. I'll just give you the spoiler alert, but let me tell you the how. Number one, you must first recognize you are resisting something. If you're not even aware that you're resisting it, how can you address, develop, change anything that you don't, you're not even aware of. So awareness is key. It is the number one step that I am resisting this. It could be a person. It could be a situation. It could be love. It could be hate. Resisting hate will create more hate. Resisting love will create more opposite of love. Whatever you resist persists, but the resistance of blank will equal more of that. So awareness is key. Number two, you must recognize you do not have the ability to accept it all on your own. This has nothing to do with beliefs. This has nothing to do with hopes and dreams. You either fundamentally have the ability to accept it or you do not. That's it, period. Usually this comes after a lot of exhaustion, a lot after trying everything on your own, but you're just simply failing because you're doing it independently from the source that has the answer. It's the only answer there is actually. Step number three is you must be willing and open to teaming up and receiving help. If you're gonna to continue to do it on your own, struggle with the ego and suffer, then the divine just simply waits until you're exhausted and asking and then it can swoop in. So I'm trying to help you with that, but if you're at that point where you're exhausted, you have nothing left that is the perfect place and the best place to receive because you fundamentally don't even have any energy to do it anymore on your own. So step four, you must ask the divine presence to come into the room that you're in right now. And you must ask it to, step number five, ask the divine presence to completely fill up every square inch of the room with its presence, its light, its consciousness, its awareness, every square inch that's all around you, above and below. Step number six, ask the divine presence to fill up every part of you, every cell of your being in a state of humility. You must be helpless in order to receive this, not hopeless. Helplessness is being like a child 
that wants a cookie, but you're so short and you're so small, but the cookie is in the cookie jar and you can't reach to the counter and you can't reach to the jar. So you tug on your grandma's dress and say, grandma, grandma, I want a cookie. Please can I have a cookie? And you're helpless. You can't do it for yourself. And she says, of course, I'll give you a cookie. So that is what helplessness is. And that's the state you need to be in in order to do this seventh step. Hopelessness is there's no way I'm going to get a cookie. Um, cookies aren't even for me. It's not even a possibility. I'm too short. Here's the excuses. Here's the victim mentalities. Out of infinite possibility, it's not even a possibility for me. That's hopeless. Hopeless is super far away from the divine presence. Helpless is one step away from the divine presence. So interesting. Two opposing strategies, they're not the same words. And once you have that divine presence, you're recognizing that you have resistance. That's number one. Two is you do not have the ability to accept it on your own. You tried and you failed and you will continue to fail, but you realize that it's your time It's time to stop failing and start teaming up and start winning, which is three, team up and being open to receiving help. Four, at least invite the presence into the room. Five, fill up the room. Six, fill up every part of you and in a state of humility, helplessness and surrender. Then you ask step number seven, divine presence, give me the ability to accept this resistance. Give me your ability, the divine ability. Instill it in my being, the ability to accept, Lord. So you ask for it to be given. You cannot do this on your own. You never will. Try as you might. So in order to get from here to here, and if you're going to flip this over, and we're going to say, hey, what we're going to do is I'm going to just take this. What happens if you accept resistance? Well, the only way to do that is to cover that resistance is from the divine presence, from the divine grace. You need to give this to me. I cannot do it. Guilty as charged. I've tried. I can't do it. I do not have the ability. Give me the ability to do it. I'm telling you, this is what works for me. This is what works for every single person I've ever shared this with. I just walked my client through it and you're going to need to do this in multiple different ways, multiple different times of your life. But I want you to realize resistance is not the problem. If there's something that you're stuck with or some sort of fear from the ego, you just can't move forward in your life because of fear, because if there's resistance and you haven't found the solution, you tried everything. This is the one thing you haven't tried. I know because it works 100% of the time, but you must Go through these seven steps and you must be ready and in a place that you're done suffering, struggling all on your own and you're ready to team, tag team 1980s old school tag team wrestling, tag team got in to the ring and win. So use this. Let me know in the comments below. If you want more videos like this, if you find a lot of value, let me know what you found most valuable. In the comments below, I'm asking you to please like, subscribe, turn on that bell. Maybe share this with a friend if there's somebody who needs this. There's a guy that oversees all my videos in YouTube. His name is Al Go Rhythm, And he says he'll share more of my videos if you help me out by liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting in the comments below. And if there's any other videos that you want me to expound on and add, I will do that. Thank you very much for listening. I really hope this helps unlock so many areas of your life. And I'm so curious to learn how that goes. I'll see you in the next video.